unbelievable. What, what, what can I say? Let's let's start first with the occasion. Rafa Nadal, the greatest athlete in the history of Spain. Today you beat him, and the king of Spain was watching. Oh, he's got it! What a way to win it! Can you talk about your feelings? I mean, uh, I don't know how to say, well, what to say. I mean, uh, it's uh, unbelievable uh, to play in this stadium against the best athlete in history. The apprentice finally beats the master. What's just happened? You beat one of the guys who is dominating the game. Tomorrow you get another chance against Novak, who has been dominating the game also. How excited are you for this challenge? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, to play against the, the best player in the world. There's a lot of superlatives going around for him and his game. He's the future of, 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 the, of the men's tennis, uh, but also a present because of everything he has achieved so far this year. Tremendous. What a set and what a reaction. I just can't, can't say that I will fight until the, the last ball. I will do my game. I, I will enjoy. was that. Brilliant! his nerves very well I mean for somebody of his age to, to play so much early uh, and uh, courageously is, is impressive approaching three hours and the youngest ever Madrid semi-finalist continues to hold sway over the oldest he was so close uh, in the in the tie break uh, I mean I think both of us played an unbelievable match superb Djokovic responds. A special talent wins a special match here in Madrid. He becomes the first player ever to defeat Nadal and Djokovic back to back on a clay court. Carlos Alcaraz is the champion in Madrid. The 19-year-old caps off the perfect week. What do you want to do in tennis? To win a Grand Slam or to become number one in the world?
Number one. Times two. You are a champion and a teenager who's now the new world number one. You know, one of these few rare talents that comes up every now and then in sport. Well, this is something that the, I dreamed of uh, since I was since I a kid, you know, to be number one in the world, to be champion so, uh, of a Grand Slam. Obviously, he's uh, he's the new Rafa, right? He doesn't have to look at me anymore. No, he's uh, a star already. If he will do everything right, he will achieve so many great things. He's not a normal guy. Uh, like Novak was not a normal guy. Like Roger was not a normal guy. Like probably me was not a normal guy. I always said there will be always new superstars in the game, and he's one of them. He inspires me a lot. I, I really want to be like him, and uh, I look up to him. Unbelievable, unbelievable, he's so good. He is maybe at the moment the best player in the world. He's the best player in the world. The best player in the world. He's the best player in the world, no question, this year. Carlos Alcaraz shines brightest in the Sunshine State. Like he didn't even play in the ATP Finals and still gets no points there and the year-end number one. he would be this good this fast, right? Miami, Indian Wells, we could see it coming on, but it really all clicked for him at the U.S. Open, possibly aided by Novak not being there. You have to put that in there as a factor this year. There's no doubt Novak's inability to play in a lot of his favorite places made it an easier rise. Carlos Alcaraz, the world number one, is out of the 2023 Australian Open. I have to say that the amount of positive experiences I had in Australia overwhelmed the negative experience maybe a lot of last year's. The Australian Open is about to begin in Melbourne without its defending men's champion. Novak Djokovic has been deported after losing his legal challenge to the cancelling of his visa. The judges ruled in favour of the Australian government. Why I was really looking forward to come back to Australia because of my records here. So. I really love playing in Rod Laver Arena, particularly in night sessions, so I've had plenty of success that hopefully uh, can continue this year. I, I still have a lots of motivation. Um, let's see. Let's see how far it takes me. I really uh, don't want to stop here. I don't have intention to stop here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. is on top of the world. He is the Indian Wells champion and he will become the world number one. A third Masters title. It's perfection in Barcelona from Carlos Alcaraz. Carlos Alcaraz defends his title in the Spanish capital. Carlos Alcaraz! A brilliant win for Carlos Alcaraz. A match that had everything. Individually, two of the best sets 
that we've seen. Carlitos, you have set up the semi-final. Everyone is looking forward to against 22 times Grand Slam champion Novak Djokovic on Friday. So I really wanted to, to play this match as well, you know. I always say that they, if you want to, to be the best, you have to beat the best. So, you know, he's, he's definitely a guy to beat here, so I'm looking forward to that. Novak Djokovic uh, right now is one of the best player in the world so it's gonna be a really tough challenge for me but I'm really looking forward to that, that match play such a, a great level. Oh that was brave. Oh yeah. There's the skill he has. Yeah, he studied himself well then, Djokovic. Oh. And there's the opening set for Djokovic. Shot of the tournament, shot of the year, perhaps the century. Even the great Novak Djokovic can't quite believe. And there's the answer. Crap here, yeah. Well, we were just talking about Djokovic and how he is seemingly feeling it. No doubt about it. Now, it's Alcaraz. Djokovic was in trouble, and Alcaraz, no doubt at court level, could see that as well. And that might have contributed to the tension rising up in him. Yeah, the tension, uh, the tension of the of the match. Uh, you know, I started. The, the match really, really nervous. And, uh, it's never a nice feeling when you're going through this. Tough luck for, for Carlos, uh, obviously, at this level. Um, you know, the last thing you want is, is cramps and uh, physical problems at the, the late stages of the Grand Slam. Oh! It's tough to watch. Oh, I feel for him, I feel sorry. I hope he can recover and... Uh, he can come back very soon. It's been really tough for me, uh, honestly. Uh, I disappointed myself. It was an epic for two hours in the quarter, and we thought it was going to be one of the great matches of all time. The pinnacle of his career. again might not, might not be too, too far, far away, away. Yeah, I mean, this is probably the, the most anticipated finals, I guess, from from um, from the the beginning of the tournament. Um, most of the people, you know, Alcaraz, myself, and it will be his first finals. Um, in, in Wimbledon, he's so young, but he's incredibly consistent now. Just, just Novak Djokovic waits for you in the final. Tell me about that. What can I say? You know, I <laughs> Everybody knows. Uh, I mean, the legend he, he is. Uh, you know, it's gonna be really, really difficult. But you know, I, I, I will, I will fight. I, I will fight. You know, that, uh, that's myself. You know, I. 
greatest challenge probably that I can have at the moment. You know, I, I would believe that I can beat him here. We had a very good match until he started uh, struggling physically in Paris. I dream, you know, since I started playing tennis to play a final, but it's even more special playing against uh, Novak. Yes, I do have more experience. It's a final. It's no time to, you know, be afraid. He's very motivated. He's young. He's hungry. It's no time to be tired. I will go for it and let's see what happens. Chop to the chop and running. It's a horror start for Alcada, but he's getting a mauling here. Faint shaking of their head from the world number one Alcala. Completely outplayed. And that's it. And after an hour and 25 minutes of that second set, the winning blow delivered by the Spaniard. It's two breaks of serve, 32 points in that one game alone. If you want to be the best, you have to beat the best. Oh. The racket has been melted. He's the best player in the world, no doubt. I mean, he's, he's, playing, he's playing some fantastic tennis on different surfaces and he deserves to be where he is. Djokovic is deposed as a new king of centre court. Carlos Alcara of Spain. He's beaten the best of all time. I fall in love with Will Russ right now. lucky are we that we get to witness this type of battle between an already all-time great and one that is probably going to become an all-time great in Carlos Alcaraz. The Spaniard survives. Djokovic finishes the job as he sets up a blockbuster tomorrow. It will be Djokovic versus Alcaraz in our championship match. Was that the greatest best two out of three sets match you have ever witnessed. Djokovic makes his move. Oh, what a response. I also don't think you're nuts for actually saying it is. Oh my goodness, what a volley. Crazy match that we've been through today. Exhausted. Uh, I feel... No, I feel proud of myself. Yeah, brilliant. Sweat to see that. Two hours before that match finished, we thought Novak Djokovic was done. He just looked like he didn't have enough left in the tank. It's not the, the match that we were hoping for, not the match that it had the potential to be. I started off better, but then he just struggled a lot physically uh, on the court. He used it, he was set in a break. Unsurprisingly, Alcaraz breaks. It was a gift, really. Turning on the style now. True champion style. He kept fighting, battling, long enough for him, for him to feel a little bit better. 
Oh, this is much better. Uh, every time that uh, he's going to play uh, against me, uh, reminds reminds him uh, playing against Rafa. Oh, brilliant! Had to stay alert after the volley came back. And certainly had chances. He he had his own championship point. Saved in style. Rock solid from Djokovic. And, and Novak, it took five championship points to get it done. That, that, that match point save from him was... Oh, it's good! What a way to save another! Oh, that is absolutely brilliant. Djokovic at his best. Djokovic is the champion in Cincinnati once more. Boy, you never give up, man. Jesus Christ. I mean... I mean, I love that about you, but, you know, sometimes I wish that you maybe play a few points just like this, you know. <laughs> Spanish never die, okay, good. I, I, I've heard that before, you know.